looking at the news and they talking about don't come to LA. They talking about, you know, getting killed and murdered. You know, but Inglewood is a it's one of our cities, man, that's should be, you know, a safe place. And then the uh, SoFi Stadium. And the motivation of this video, you know, I had to uh, delete the other one. I was kind of, I came through this morning and uh, was kind of calling out names, mad and upset because of what's going on in the country, in the world. You know, but some of these things that get a little too close to home and then we find ourselves dealing with, you know, the aftermath, you know, with people um, talking about you know, saying things that's not true. Saying things that's not true. And if you're from Inglewood, you kind of know the city. You kind of know, you know where you're at based on certain things. Even if you're not from Inglewood, if you, you know, from the LA area, you know, anywhere between Manchester and, and Century. But, um, saw that video and I know I'm not the only one. And, uh, before I saw the video, it was saying that the, the brother Slim 400, uh, was, uh, in the sixties and everybody know he's, you know, blood from Compton and a blood from Compton sitting around hanging out in the 60s that's not a good thing but we do know that that things do um you know they do make money and, and make uh break bread together but this scenario when i saw him post and he actually posted a video and the video uh, he said he, that he's losing his fans and that he don't post that often and i kind of knew exactly where he was based on um the airplanes going by the flight path beside him brother and yeah so when the video dropped and it was actually the video of the door camera from the home that he was at and uh wow you know and i stood right here in, in this particular area so you can actually see you know the positioning and the actual escape route like seriously this is 7th Avenue, this is 8th Avenue around the corner. This is Manchester, this Manchester right here. And then across the street from the uh, laundromat, there's an actual um, center for the police, like a community type center. And not sure if you got cameras over there, but um, that Penske truck, I guarantee you got eyes on, I guarantee you. Let me just put it in a backdrop see right there so this is a spot and it looked like you know clearly it was targeted I don't know if they knew where he you know, I'm not sure if, if, if Slim 400 was living on 7th Avenue clearly not sure about that that's a um, no nah. but they got a little memorial right here and uh, that's the house over there. Not gonna show you the address or anything, but they released the doorbell um, cameras. So they actually, I'm sure they do know, not knowing if it was a female or what the situation was, but I don't want to speculate. I don't want to be, you know, get out of pocket, you know, like uh, WAC 100 or saying that he was in the sixties, you know, he shouldn't have been over there, you know, you know, pumping up anybody that want to retaliate. And then I'm seeing, um, his uh, Instagram live video or video that he posted and they actually cropped it, meaning it was uh, airplanes flying over the top. So they actually cropped it so you can't see the airplanes. So you can kind of assume that it's possibly that he was not where he is. So listen, 7th Avenue of Manchester, that's Manchester right here, this is 7th Avenue. That's Memorial right there. Okay, and then I want to, uh, and I'm gonna say this real quick. Now, the brother, I'm hearing guys say that uh, it was a hit and he was dragged and all of this stuff. That man, it was personal. Not saying it was a hit, but it was personal. But where he was sitting in the car and he uh, 
the doorbell camera, you can hear him loud and clear. Say, what up, bruh, bruh? And what up, bruh, bruh is like, what up, homie? So either he came up on him too fast, he was there too quick, and he didn't recognize him. But see, here's the, here's the flight path. See, that's what I'm talking about. When he did his video, look at his video. You can see the planes, they cropped it out. Everybody know where the flight path is. So if, if, if they didn't know he was there, he gave up his location, but that's, that's crazy. But when they talk about, uh, he, that man, he, the, he got drugged and drugged, not drugged, like drugs, like drugged, pulled. When they talk about that, I watched that video and what I saw, I didn't see a man getting drugged. I saw a man that was actually shot before and this time around he, he, he fought for his life. He fought that man all the way into his last breath, literally, literally. Every gunshot that that man shot, usually a, 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 a gunshot will blow you off of somebody. That's why when you see drive-bys and stuff like that, you see shoes in the street, it literally blow you out your shoes. But in this particular situation, he kept coming. And every shot that rang out, they was actually tussling, tussling, tussling. And then actually when, when the, uh, the gunfire stopped, so I'm, saying, I'm just assuming that he emptied his firearm and that last little situation, when you look at movies, you know, movies is uh, life imitating art. And they try to depict the, um, the uh, you know, how things happen for real from a cinematic perspective. And there is a such thing, you know, of the death grip, meaning all that adrenaline that he had, he, he pushed forward, fought for his life. And then he locked on, locked on, and then the assailant or the killer, the murderer, the one who was actually busting on him actually had to pry him off of him because of what they would call that death grip. You know, the part of the movie when he just doom and he grab you and they, they look in your eyes and all of that. So this is one of those situations, man. So I had to double back because I was over here this morning and uh, I was calling out too many names. I was, you know, I, I, I couldn't post that. So I'm gonna go ahead and post this, this is a reaction, but uh, there's going to be a strong reaction uh, municipal uh, there, meetings. Now, when you talk about money, you talk about finances, messing with people money, that's when things get out of hand. And if you look at the news, the news is clearly talking about, um, don't come to LA, you know, this is, you know, you, you, you're gonna find yourself in a situation, but this, this can't be, this can't be, you know, this can't be. So here it is right here where it all that was a driveway and that's where it ended and like i said the reason i'm doing this video from right here because i'm just showing you you know the actual how you could get up out of here you see what i'm saying so this is crazy man and it has to stop and like i said something is going to uh, transpire from this from a municipal perspective when i say municipal i mean city i mean city so we got a president that's in the office that wrote the 94 crime bill. I uh, know we got a vice president that's in the office. You know, they, you know, she says she know predators when she see them. And, you know, their presidency is, is uh, approval rating so low. We know without a shadow of a doubt when they try, when they, when they come down with the hammer and try to stop the crime, it's going to be bipartisan, meaning both sides, Republicans and Democrats, because last time, when they put a bill on the table, it was Democrats was in office, Joe Biden. And Joe Biden, I'm not going to go there, but that bill was so three strikes you out, so destructive to the black community, it passed the Senate 101 to zero. Meaning even the vice president at the time voted for the bill. So they will love for the Democrats to put laws and legislation to actually shut us down. They will love for the Democrats to actually put laws and legislation to actually um, create another uh, generation of in, uh, the prison industrial complex. So we're going to have to have conversations because when I was a youngster, nobody was looking out for us and trying to help us because why? They was cracked out. It was a little different situation. There were some haters. Our fathers and our uncles, they were some haters. So we're going to have to love on these youngsters, man, and, 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 and be a part of these conversations. I, I got all, I'm all in on this because I do not want to see another generation go, goes down because of this. With that being said, man, I'm checking out and let me just make sure that this is a safe vehicle because you got to have eyes on, you got to see what's going on. You got to make sure. And uh, it's cool. Coast is clear. So I'm out. Peace out.